So what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple seat belt shader or material because the seat belt actually there's more to it than you might think. Let's look at a real seat belt. This is a real seat belt and as you can see it has bright, dark, bright, dark and bright lines. But does it actually have different colors? Is this actually brighter? No, it's not. It's all the same color. So what's the difference? Is it the roughness? No, it's the same roughness. What's the difference? Is it the sheen? Kind of, but the sheen would not change as drastically as it does right here. So basically what's happening, so a seatbelt shouldn't just rip in pieces like a piece of paper. It's knitted or stitched, or I'm not a seatbelt manufacturer, but basically it's manufactured the opposite direction per band so it doesn't just rip as easily. It's going to be way more stable like this. And basically because it's knitted in one direction than the other, it's shifting the angle of reflection, shifting the angle of normals. Similar to Alcantara or suede, I guess you could call it. If you wipe over it in one direction, it's dark. If you wipe over it in the other direction, it's bright because it has these little hairs and then the opposite direction hairs that, yeah, change the angle of reflection. And that's what we're going to do in Blender right now. So let's hop into a clean Blender scene. Uh, we're going to just use a plane, I guess. I guess that's going to work just fine and open the shader editor, uh, add a material to this, and yeah, we're good to go. So first thing, I created some textures. Uh, they're very straightforward, very basic. You can create your own, but actually I think I'll just upload these for free on my Gumroad so you can get these seat belt textures for free. Let's start with the lines. So you could do a procedural uh, way on creating these lines, but I'll just keep it simple for you guys. Use this texture, create your own texture. These are the five lines you need for a seat belt. It's always these five lines. So if we hook it up here, it looks just like this, nothing special. And if we hook it up to the normals, that's kind of what we're gonna do, but that won't work. It works surprisingly well, but that's not what we're gonna do. So we're gonna add a normal map node, just like this. And we're not just going to hook it up. We're basically going to convert this to a normal map. So how we're going to do that, we're going to add a color node or a mixed color node and just steal this color. So what this is, is B1 and green and red 0.5. So this is just a mid gray, 50% gray neutral normal map, which would yeah just be purple. Um, let's turn off the metallic again. And now we want to convert these lines. So we're going to hook them up to the factor controlling these two colors. And now I'm just going to do a random color. See, just like this. We're not going to do any random color. So there's a few random uh, colors you could do. You could, it depends on the angle you want to shift it. You could do 0.5, you could do uh, 0.75, you could go all one, uh, or you could go 0.5 and one here. It doesn't really matter uh, how you want to shift it. I would say we'll just shift it like this for now. So 1.5 and 1. Blue always has to be constantly 1. So this doesn't look quite right because it's hooked up into the color. We're going to hook it up or let me show you what happens if we use the slider. So maybe one more setting we'll need. Uh, add a another mixed color. We're going to use this purple. So it's just the default mid gray normal map. We're going to hook it up here, but we're going to actually slide the factor. So basically what we're going to do is we can add more of this um, yeah, velvet effect, anastroph anastrophic effect, and reduce the effect. Um, yeah, if you want to invert it, maybe put it in the bottom. So now zero, zero is off and one is on. Okay, now next step. This is how we're going to man manipulate the normals. So if we hook it up to the normal map, take off the color. So look, this is what we got now. Uh, now, if you slide the slider, you can add this effect and reduce this effect. If we go metallic and maybe a little bit less roughness. Oh, the bell, one second. So I had to open the door. So let's, where did I stop? So exactly, uh, now we got a slider to shift the reflection angle, which is basically more or less the belt. Okay, next step, we're going to add texture. Also this, I would say it's just for free on my Gumroad. So if we hook this up, very important step that most of you always forget. Don't use sRGB, just hit N for no uh, non-color. And now you have an actual normal map that you could change the strength of. Okay, now we're going to mix these two together. Um, I would say we just, uh, yeah, screen it together. Or lighten probably also works. Uh, or does it? Did I flip? Yeah, it should work. I think that should work. Uh, let's check if it actually works. Um, so if we hit it to the color, maybe take this off again, take off metallic, go back to something normal. So 
this is what our texture looks like. And basically, if we slide, now I'm getting confused, this one, you can maybe mark it with a color as a controller. Um, yeah, basically, you can add or basically add color or basically subtract um, green, I think it is, <laughs> uh, to change the angle overall. So basically, yeah, that's that's what you want. Okay, now we're gonna hook this solution or this um, yeah thing up into the normals. I hope you can follow along. I got a bit sidetracked by the door. Uh, so now we got this. You can put roughness to whatever. Uh, we're gonna have a black seat belt, obviously, and maybe add more roughness. And that's basically it. So I would say that's way too strong. So we can go to 0.1. That's also because this pink is extremely strong. It probably could have been uh, enough to just put it at 7.5. And yeah, that's basically, uh, that's, how, that's how it works. So here you can add these lines. And now you see it's bright, dark, bright, and other side should be the opposite. It's bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, and so on. So it's basically flipping the, um, the uh, reflection. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess that's the video. So there you have it, the seatbelt. Basically, like obviously it's not the best in the world. You can add a roughness map and add more stuff to make better fabric. That's a different topic. Uh, you can get textures online, make your own procedural textures for fabric. You can use mine. Um, yeah, but that's basically the key element of how to make a seatbelt. And as you already know, obviously you can also purchase this for 20 euros so you got a perfect seat belt and all kinds of stuff and you got a speaker and the cool thing is all of these materials are procedural so you can just eh, scroll in here eh, 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 and basically change everything make the holes bigger make them smaller for the speaker and so on there's also this fabric procedural also procedural almost every not everything's procedural the carpet isn't procedural but this is procedural alcantara with the dots you can also change everything the amount you can change the size you can do whatever you want for 20 euros if this isn't the best asset pack on the whole wide internet i don't know what is you got a reflector you got it all you got real car paints of real cars more or less obviously it's not a scant material but they're not random these are actual car paints if you want to support me get this look there's even a disc brake perfect i bet that's what he always wanted in life is a disc brake that's it for today um and yeah have fun creating seat belts and goodbye